Computer Science for Kids. Part 2. How do computers work? We use computers to help us write stories, do homework, find answers on the internet, play video games, watch movies and shows, and send messages to family. Today, we will take a look at how computers work. So, let's review. What is a computer? A computer is a machine that works with information. This information can be words, numbers, pictures, sounds, or movies. A computer does not have a brain, so it cannot come up with ideas like we do. A computer can follow instructions to do lots of useful things. Computers are everywhere. Computer programs are used to control many of the things we use every day. Here are a few household items that are computers. Do you know what this is? These are called automatic doors and you may have seen them in your local supermarket or the mall. Automatic doors use computer programs to know when to open and when to close. Here is another example. These are traffic lights. A computer program tells the traffic lights when to change from red to green. Some traffic lights have a button that you can push to tell the computer that you want to cross the street. First, the computer sends instructions to turn the light red, which makes the car stop. Then, the computer turns on the light for pedestrians to cross. Sometimes, it will even play a sound to let pedestrians know that it is safe to cross the street. Pretty cool, huh? So, how do computers work? Computers need instructions from a human to complete tasks. These instructions are called inputs. An input tells a computer that you want it to do something. In video games, you can make a character walk, run, or jump by using a controller. A controller is an input device that allows you to give instructions to a computer, which in this example would be the video game system. We use different input devices to give computers instructions. For a desktop, you can use a keyboard and a mouse to input information. For a laptop, you can use a keyboard and touchpad to input information. For a smartphone, you can use the touchscreen, camera, buttons, and microphone to input information. Computers need to receive inputs in order to do things. A person needs to input instructions for the computers to do something. When a computer receives an input, it stores the information in its memory. While it's storing the information, it is also processing the instructions it just received. Finally, the computer completes the task and this is called the output. A computer uses outputs to send information to our five senses. Hearing, touch, sight, taste, and smell. These are our five senses. For example, when you are playing a video game, you use a controller to input information to the computer of your gaming system. The computer then sends outputs that appeal to your sense of sight, hearing, and touch, if it vibrates. Here is another example. When you are listening to music, you may use a touchscreen to input information to the computer in your phone. The computer then sends outputs that appeal to your sense of hearing through your headphones. Okay, let's review what we have learned. Computers can follow instructions to do things. An input tells a computer that you want to do something. You can use input devices to give a computer instructions. The output is when a computer completes the task it was given. A computer uses outputs to send information to our five senses. Activity time! Let's take a look at a few pictures and you can decide what is an input and what is an output. A keyboard or Headphones. Which one is an input and which one is an output? Pause the video here to answer the question.
Here are the answers. A keyboard is an input device because you can use it to give a desktop instructions to do something. Headphones are an output device because you need to give a computer input in order for it to play music. The music appeals to our sense of hearing. Let's try another one, but this time, let's make it harder. A desktop monitor, a mouse, or a tablet. Which one is an input and which one is an output? Pause the video here to answer the question. Here are the answers. A desktop monitor is an output device because the images on the screen appeal to our sense of sight while the sounds from the speaker appeal to our sense of hearing. A mouse is an input device because we can use it to input information to a computer. A tablet can be an input and an output device. We input information using the touch screen. The tablet then sends outputs that appeal to our sense of sight through images on the screen, hearing through sounds from the speakers, and touch through vibrations. Great! Now you know how computers work! Would you like to learn more? Then be sure to watch the next video in this series, How Do Computers Remember Information? If you like this video, then check out Ms. Dorisman's Virtual Corner for even more. If you are a teacher, you can follow Ms. Dorisman's Virtual Corner on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and TPT. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.